What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a snack review. Yes, Mr. Bailey, I am messing with you and I love it. Um, <clears throat> we get lucky, we might even have a train video and, and mixed in with all these, who knows. But anyway, um, we got a snack review, found these on an Asian store on the internet, I think they were like three bucks a bag for 3.17 ounces, 90 grams. I've never had anything like this. So I'm gonna try it, why not? This is from Calbee. This is their Takoyaki ball, which is octopus. So basically this is their octopus ball, corn snacks. So it's kind of like a cheese ball, but it's Takoyaki ball. Takoyaki flavored. Mm. Got the little octopus here, that, that's pretty freaking cool. He's got a schnoz on that guy, good lord. He got a snout, not a nose. Anyway. On the back is a tiny read-up. It says, Cowboy Takoyaki, Takoyaki Ball. Let your taste buds take a trip through the street food stalls in Japan with our Takoyaki Ball. Each bite has the same savory flavor as Takoyaki, but with an airy, lighty, crispy texture. Now, the ingredients. <clears throat> it is corn, palm oil, seasoning, which consists, consi uh, seasoning, which consists of sugar, maltodextrin, and salt, monosodium glutamate, Seaweed, hydrolyzed soy protein, caramel color, glucose syrup, which is corn and tapioca, onion powder, spices, and garlic powder, milk solids, soy sauce powder, which is soybeans and wheat, artificial flavor, dehydrated parsley, disodium 5 ribonucleotide, that was just in something else we had too. Um, now your B, my snacks, not yours. And then we have citric acid, steviol glycoside, so I guess that's like stevia extract, I guess. Paprika oleo resin, and then we have calcium carbonate. It contains milk, soy, and wheat. Algae information. Made in a facility that also manufactures products containing egg, fish, crustaceans, shellfish, and peanuts. Imported and distributed by Calbee North America LLC in Boardman, Ohio. Boardman, Oregon. Sorry, there is a Boardman, Ohio, but this is Boardman, Oregon. Product of Thailand. And you can find them at calbeena.com. So there's all that information there. And warning, consuming this product can expose you to chemicals including lead. Well, that's nice to know. Which is known to the state of California to cause birth defects and other reproductive harm. For more information, what the hell? It says it right there, lead. What, are you kidding me? Well, I guess I'm basically eating old paint chips, but whatever, we'll give them a try. I guess you don't eat them too much. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to say about that, but whatever. I will say one thing about their snacks, though. They're not half air. They're about a third of the way air. They're not half air. Definitely has a kind of soy sauce smell. Maybe a fishy smell. Those what they look like, like I say, like cheese balls. Pour a couple out here in our hands, see what we're working with. Well, there is what they look like. Boy, is the sun making them glow. And uh, I guess we'll try these lead balls out. So from Calbee, they're Takayaki balls. Here we go. Definitely sweet, not real sweet, but sugar's third ingredient. Very sweet, but as you see, takoyaki balls have a sauce on them. I, I don't know if it's like a hoisin sauce or oyster sauce or something, but it's sweet. It has a little fishiness to it, but not much. I like them. Um, not a fan to know that they might have lead in them. But, uh... I 
considering what they put in our foods in this country, how, mu how much worse could lead be, honestly? All the chemicals. But anyway, there's three servings in a bag. It's about 34 pieces is 140 calories. The whole bag is 460. Not bad. That's really good. I see you get a little bit of the soy, sweetness from the sugar, obviously the crunchy corn ball. Not bad. Now, they're not hot, obviously. Flavor. I'd give them a seven and a half out of ten, but I would not buy them. I like them, but I would never buy them again. Because if it says it could possibly have lead in it, I ain't, I ain't trying to do all that. Um, I have an airplane overhead as a hawk. I don't know if you could see that shadow on camera, but good lord. Anyway, probably gonna get that dead rabbit up the road. <clears throat> Well, anyway, with this back to the snack review, I'm like Steve, I get off track real easily, but eh, it's just the way we are. Love you, Steve. You're the man. Um, yeah, these are really good, uh, but like I say, just possibly having lead in them, I, I don't want to buy them again because I don't want to die from eating a cornball, but you know, but they're not bad. Um, I mean, obviously, I don't know how much lead's in here, but I would think any lead's not good, but be that as may, they are good. I would love to try the real ones. I'm not an octopus person. I've never had it. And again, like Funky Food with Dave says, like Dave says, try the funky, the wacky, the weird, the stuff that you don't think you would like. I tried that deal. He said me now. That was absolutely delicious. But yeah, these aren't bad. So there you go from Calby. They're takoyaki balls pretty good but with that said hope you enjoyed this review like comment subscribe and share do whatever you want with this video i don't care i don't and i'll see you next time